Okay, good afternoon and uh, welcome to our final crop update from Beal. Last time we were here, uh, the thorns had just come out, the ears were maybe just emerging. Uh, 8th of June and I was doing my usual beg for some different weather. Rosie, it's safe to say we've had a bit of different weather since the 8th of June. Yeah, we've had about 66 mil in July, which I know is not uh, as much as other people have had. Some people have had more than 100 millimetres this month. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely had enough for this field. Yeah, we've, uh, it's, it's sort of, you know, it, it come in the nick of time. Rosie, what are you looking to evaluate when we get to, uh, obviously we've got the cover crop trial in there as well, what are you looking to evaluate? Um, so we'll, also, we'll be getting a rough yield off the, um, off the yield monitor on the combine um, between the different varieties. We'll be taking them, all the samples, through grain analysis as well. And uh, back in the autumn we drilled uh, different plots of cover crops in here and left uh, an area of the field untreated. Um, so we'll also be trying to um, see if there's any differences between nitrogen content um, and screenings as well between the different plots of cover crops. One of the things that I've been asked a lot, I was on farm this morning, we're talking about it, was that the sustainability and cover crops and all that's going in. I think people are looking for a lot of advice on how they're going to manage the fertiliser requirements from this. And I'm hoping that we can get a lot of that information from this, can't we? Yeah, um, and so this is also, this is something that we'll be doing, you know, again, we'll be doing, we'll be putting the cover crops in again, followed by the spring barley, just to try and get, you know, a few years of, just keep on building that data over a few years. So, obviously, we've got, you know, for those of you who've been down to the trials and had, had a look at them, um, we've got the usual spread of varieties, we've got GP along at the end there, and then coming along, we've got the sort of mainstay, distilling, brewing and um, general purpose ones. We've got a few new candid varieties along at the, at the other end there. Not an awful lot we can say about them at the minute, but the one probably just want to highlight a wee bit is we've got this variety, SY Tennyson, Syngenta Tennyson. Um, new variety on the block, probably about 3% higher yielding than, um, than Laureate, so maybe it's a game changer again up from Laureate. It's agronomically, it's got one or two things that we need to deal with on it, but you know we've got a lot more of this in the ground this year, so hoping to take it through to harvest and get a lot more on macro malt. So maybe it's one to watch out for, and I'm sure you know if it does what it says it's going to do, we'll be looking to uh, contract a bigger volume of it next year. So you know maybe it's just one to watch out for that we're doing. So Rosie, it's uh, yeah, we've got another. How how long do you think we'll be before we end this? Probably another month. Yeah, yeah, just needs to finish off and like I always say, I always throughout the season I've always been saying we could really do with some rain, we could really do with some sunshine. <laughs>